G'day guys and welcome to the round two tips and how it went overall. So I've got five, five out of nine, which isn't too bad. I'll take that on board. I think I'm on eight, so not very good from um, 18 games, but it's been a tough start to the year, no doubt. But uh, Thursday night, we had the Pies <coughs> upsetting the Tigers once again, two in a row. More injuries to come for the Tigers and Rewalt will be out for a month by the looks of it. I went with Richmond on this occasion, but not to be. Pies were outstanding for most of the night, then put them away in the last quarter with a pretty convincing win in the end. I've got the Crows in this one. They won by 26. Really good start. Uh, some pretty amazing goals in this game. And the Crows uh, did what they did last year. They had to win. They needed something special, and they did. They pulled a rabbit out of the hat, and the Swans looking very iffy at 0 2. They've been there before, though. Uh, the Bombers, I reckon the furnace has never been so hot. They had to respond after last week's disgraceful performance. And there is something very, very smelly down at the Bombers. Uh, went down to the Saints by 11 points and never really <laughs> looked like winning, to be honest. Um, always from behind all day. And they just look a shadow of themselves from last year where they were so promising. I tipped the Bombers and the Saints got over the line there. And I reckon a lot would have expected the Bombers to uh, respond, but that's fine. Port Adelaide had a 16-point win over Carlton, who were quite brave and had a really good start to the game. They were they were steady. They kept coming, but couldn't quite um, get over the line. And some Motlop magic um, helped them out there. I went along to this game, and I tipped the Cats to win. They're not by 80 points. A really good start by Geelong. Melbourne came back a, a touch in the second term, but just couldn't get it on the scoreboard. The Cats were deadly inside 50. Uh, full review, check out my previous video if you want to see how the cats went there and tips, or not tips, um, yeah, I guess a look at the game and votes, that's the word I was after, who we gave votes to and a look towards the week after with good old Shorty and we had West Coast double the Giants score by the looks of it, so much better performance back at home and gave the Giants maybe a slight reality check. That one was pretty straightforward for the Eagles. I think Kennedy back helped them out. The Lions, uh, they were down for a fair bit of the day, but then a, a massive last quarter, which coincides with the next game. I tipped the Lions in this one, and they got the chocolates. The Hawthorne, they were up by five goals with about 12 minutes of game time behind the last quarter, and the Doggies kicked nine, nine for the quarter. Incredible. So more in the last quarter than they did for the whole of the other three quarters, where they had a lot of the play, but they did not make a count, and it finally counted in the last quarter, so incredible win by the Dogs there. Final game of the round, and I tip the Dockers here, but the Suns pipped them, probably should have won by more, and the Dockers, yeah, they they were up by, um, yeah, three goals, and again, they fell to pieces, so just couldn't mark the ball, get their hands on the ball, or get it inside 50, who was played in the Suns half late, and uh, yeah, those are my tips, guys, so let me know how you went this week in round two. And just have a bit of a look at the ladder. Um, so I guess the bottom, Melbourne and Essendon. They're playing next Friday night, so it's going to be a big game. And then got North, Carlton, Sydney, Richmond, Adelaide, Gold Coast, West Coast, Hawthorne. So some unusual names there, but rounding out the top, we've got Geelong, Brisbane, Port Adelaide, Western Bulldogs, St Kilda, Fremantle, Collingwood and the Giants. And I'm rounding out the top eight there. Uh, it's good when you start well and you're the top early. It, it doesn't always mean you're going to finish top four, but you, it's um, when it gets late in the season, it's harder to move from here to here versus, well, getting knocked down the lower ranks. You don't want to be trying to fight to get in the eight. So a huge start is so important. All right, guys. So those are, yeah, how our tips went. So pretty average. Not too bad, though. Could have been maybe more disastrous. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And chuck in, chuck in how you went. Give the video a like. Subscribe away as well for more content. That'll be awesome. And thanks for sticking around, guys. I'll catch you all on the next video.